Hey guys, welcome to the video. This one is going to be about the bucket list and how to get yourselves on the start of the quest for the camera. So you're going to be starting off with a broken camera, which you can pick up from a variety of locations across the map of Appalachia. The first one being Wavy Willard's Water Park. The corpse will be available on entry, as you can see here, at the very north of the map. These locations are sort of ordered by best suited fast travel. So if you do want to check them out all on the same server, you can do it. It'll be the cheapest way to do so. Bear in mind, you will need to fast travel to Vault 76 at some point to save some caps. Okay, our second location is the Philippi Battleground Cemetery. As you can see here, this is all from the fast travel points. This is where the corpse is located. If you are farming this location, you can get a Yagwai out the back of the house. It's a good one to pick up some acid and some springs, so help yourself to that. Moving on, we've got the Palace of the Winding Path. Now, this actually isn't in the actual location. It's just on the overlook on the overpass here where we are heading. So you want to head up this road. Obviously, again, this is from the fast travel point. You want to head up to the lookout points and go to the overlook where you'll be looking out through the telescopes and the body will be just here. Next up, moving a little bit more south, we've got the Colonel Kelly Monument. Now, there are a couple of rad scorpions that spawn in this area. So if you do wish to get yourself a rad scorpion venom syringa, it might be a good way to start farming some scorpions. Anyway, you want to head up to the monument itself and you will see the body on a bench as you approach. Moving to the west, we've got the Tyler County Fairgrounds. Now, this is near a settlement itself. So if you've taken the settlement already, you might be able to get free fast travel over to that settlement and then commute from there. You want to head down to the actual fairgrounds themselves, um, head to the back, and you will see on the right hand side, you'll see the corpse spawning in on a set of metal seats here at the actual fairground. There's a handful of scorched in the area and there is a little mini quest to find the Mr. Jangles as well if you do wish to do that. The Tyler County Fairgrounds is also a good place to get cloth and plastic from the discarded takeaway trays and cups. The ones with straws tend to have the plastic and the other ones tend to just have cloth. So they're quite useful if you're making outfits or making gunpowder or if you are collecting plastic. Now, sticking with the west side of the map, we're going to be heading to Point Pleasant. There's a little bit of confusion with this one, as supposedly there are two locations in this area, but I do believe there is only one, and it is at the Mothman statue, so head there. Collect the Mothman eggs, but we've got a little bit of information on the Mothman eggs as well. Brought to us by one of the community members, Cryo, who says that if you do collect the Mothman eggs, you can switch servers, and they will be there as long as you fast travel away from Point Pleasant before you server hop, and then when you head back, they will still be there. So you can get quite a lot of Mothman eggs for that. Cook them up, sell them for a good profit to the robot vendors. Moving back inland, and if you want to fast travel through Vault 76, you'll save yourself on some caps. We're at the Landview Lighthouse. Now, this one is all the way at the top of the lighthouse. As you can see, we're going to be heading up there. Um, there is a rad wrench about halfway. There's also a bobblehead on one of the windowsills, so uh, be sure to pick that up on your travels. A couple of ghouls outside, and you might get Path of Enlightenment, uh, which is an event that happens here, which would be pretty cool because that'll get you some extra XP if you are in the area. Um, all you need to do for that one is kill some frogs, kill some fireflies, and take their bioluminescence up to the top of the lighthouse to trigger that it's quite a trek up the stairs but once you get to the top you should find the corpse just next to this telescope heading over to bolton greens now where one of the most annoying quests in the game happens it's an event here um, i can't remember the name off the top of my head if you do know the name drop it in the comments as you approach bolton greens again this is from the fast travel point as you wander past the uh the welcome sign do be aware there will be scorched in the area the corpse will be available in the fountain if it is on that server be aware there will be some resistance from scorched but they should be low level so you should be able to take them on quite comfortably Moving on to everyone's favorite hotel in the game, we've got the White Springs Hotel. Now, if you were to go to the front of the building, you will see this corpse on approach. It is on a red car. Um, you can also head inside, get yourself a whole bunch of different vendors throughout the game. All the different factions are now located inside the hotel, and you can get yourself some nice drinks from upstairs as well from the soda fountain. Moving a bit further south, we've got the Miner's Monument. Now, this one is uh, its not one of the biggest points of interest on the game, but it is quite useful for the starting of this quest. Do bear in mind there will be a little bit of robot resistance here, but if you can take them on, you should be quite comfortable up to the stairs, and you will find the corpse on the stairs here. 
Next up, we're heading over to the giant teapot. Again, there's another event that starts here if you are here at the right time of day. Now, this one's called Tea Time, and it allows you to look after three points on the map in the area and stave off critters who are trying to destroy those pipes. You'll get some tea at the end of it if you do wish to complete that event. Anyway, the body that we are looking for will be located on the bench to the left as you approach, as you can see here. And by no means least, we're going to head to Watoga. There are lots of welcome signs, so you've got to be sure you're heading to the right sign. Otherwise, if you're server hopping, you may be looking in the wrong place. We fast traveled in to the transit hub. We're going to turn right, head out of town and then turn and face the town. And you'll see the corpse here just on the roadside in this little sort of broken piece of pathway. Fun little sign. This one it actually tells you the population of players in Watoga at any time that you head to it. And that includes robots and other things. So be sure to check that out. And here it is on the map just outside of Watoga, not actually at a landmark itself but close enough and lastly we've got Beckley mine exhibit which is a workshop and we've found the body here this is the one where we've actually started the quest itself so we're going to take a listen to the holotape see what the quest's all about funny how things work out sometimes it seems like life's got a cruel sense of humor and I came out here from San Fran to go to school at VTU I thought this place was antiquated filled with ignorant hillbillies. I hated it. Eventually, I, I guess I got over myself. Turns out people are people. Brains aren't regional, and our, our birthplace doesn't define us. I decided that once I graduated, I'd really explore West Virginia. I'd go out there and be a photojournalist, like I've always dreamed. I made a list of all the places I wanted to see, but then the bombs fell. <coughs> and I guess now it's a bucket list, because I don't think I've got much time left. I'm pretty sure the radiation will kill me before I get very far, but I'm gonna try. <coughs> finish the list for me. As you can see from the bucket list itself, there are some locations that have been completed and checked off and others that haven't. So for the quest, what you're gonna to need to do is make your camera usable again. So you need to repair the broken one and then head to locations on the map and take the photographs. That's pretty much it for the quest itself. So I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, drop them into the comments. I'll be happy to help. Be sure to like the video if you did like the video. Subscribe if you wanted to see more content. We're gonna be doing more technical stuff further on down the line, but we are gonna cover the bases first. We're available on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Take care of yourself. Peace and love to you and yours, and I'll catch you on the next video.